Hi there. Thank you for joining us for another episode. Please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe to our channel, so that other people like you can learn from these videos. How to know that you have a spirit husband or wife, and get delivered from them. Genesis 6 verse 2 The sons of God saw that the daughters of men were beautiful, and they married any of them they chose. Wow, what a day it has been. I'm so tired of my current job, because our boss just overworks us like mules. Anyway, I don't think I have the energy to pray tonight. I better sleep early, so that I can attend tomorrow's interview well rested. Welcome my dear. I've been waiting for you the whole day. Who are you? And why do I keep seeing you here? <laughs> Let's just say, I'm the best thing that has ever happened to you. I just want us to have a great time. But first, let me give you something to eat. You look hungry. Thanks, that was delicious. Now, let's have some fun. Oh my god. That dream felt very real. Oh well, I need to get ready for the interview. Good morning Dorothy. Good morning Mrs. Gordon. Please, have a sit, so that we can begin the interview. Thank you. Out of the three people I have interviewed for the last stage today, Dorothy seems to be the most qualified. However, I don't know why I don't feel like awarding her this position. Maybe it's because she did not stand out as I expected. Hi Dorothy. Hi Anthony. How are you? I'm doing fine. I didn't see you in the morning. Yes, I just came in an hour ago. I had requested to come in late. Why do you ask? Because Mr. Matthews was looking for you. Hello Mr. Matthews. You had asked to see me. Yes Dorothy. Please have a seat. We have reviewed your application for promotion. And I have to be honest with you about our conclusion. Alright. Your file and record in this company is outstanding, and you are well liked and respected by your co-workers. However, we believe that you need more experience, for us to consider you for promotion. Does that mean that my application has been rejected? Yes, regretfully. The management wants someone with more experience. Unfortunately, experience is something that comes with time, and it cannot be rushed. But I encourage you to continue with what you are doing and you might be considered next time. All right, thank you Mr. Matthews for your consideration. I actually knew that my promotion was a sure thing. Even the person that has been awarded is not as qualified as myself for the position. I'm just baffled at how I missed this opportunity. It doesn't make sense to me. Oh wow. You look absolutely amazing dear. Thanks honey. How was your day today? My day went great. I got a raise today after working on a project for the government. And then I got to see my beautiful fiancé at the end of the day. I feel like my life is complete. I'm so happy for you. It has been a pleasure watching you grow. Speaking of growth, I actually wanted to discuss when I will officially visit your parents to make arrangements for our upcoming wedding. I'd love to do it soon. Yes, let's do it soon. I can't wait to have your last name Brian. I seriously cannot keep calm. I really can't wait for my wedding day. I have so much to do before then, and I only have five months to go. Anyway, I will think about all this later. Let me sleep. Why do I keep coming to this place? Well, didn't you miss me, dear? I am not your dear. 
<laughs> oh yes, you are my dear. You just don't know it yet. What do you mean by that? Your fiancé, Brian. Do you think that he will marry you? Why wouldn't Brian want to marry me? <laughs> okay, let's wait and see whether he'll marry you. I will tell you for free, it will not happen. Thank God it was only a dream. I don't understand why I keep getting the same dream over and over again. Thank God that was not in real life. I think I better go to sleep. That's enough for today. Oh. I've just received an email about my interview. It's a regret email. What? I thought I did so well. Why do I get bad news whenever something good is about to happen to me? Let me try calling Brian at lunchtime. He'll probably be free at this time. It's Dorothy. I just don't feel like talking to her. For some reason, she's become such a bother. I think I'll just have to call off this wedding. Oh. He sent me a message. I'm in a meeting and I'm very busy. Why is Brian treating me this way? Okay Dorothy. I'm done with my work. Let's go out for lunch. Wait. What's wrong? So Brian is no longer picking up your calls? Yes, he's not. I don't know what I've done wrong Talia. That bad dream that I had came true. What bad dream? What are you talking about? Well, I keep having this dream, where I see myself in a desolate land, more of like a desert. And there is always this handsome guy that gives me food, kisses me and sometimes sleeps with me in the dream. However this time around in the dream, he told me that Brian and I will not get married. And did you go ahead and cancel the dream? No, I didn't even know that you can cancel a dream. For how long have you been having these dreams Dorothy? I can't even put a time frame. I've been having these kind of dreams for years. You know Dorothy, the kind of dreams that you have, affects your real waking life. I now know why you always get bad news just before your breakthroughs have come to pass. That man that you keep seeing in the dream is probably a spirit husband. And once someone has such a spirit claiming them, nothing in your life works. Wow Talia. I've never heard of what you have just told me. Is this even real? Yes, very much real. I'll tell you more once we get off work today. I think our lunch time is up. So as I was telling you Dorothy, there are demonic spirits that claim you as their spouse. Such spirits will never allow you to access opportunities, or even get married. And even if you get married, they will make sure that that marriage doesn't last. They claim your blessings as their own, so you just end up struggling in life, regardless of how hard you work. Wow. So what should I do to have this man stop visiting me in my dreams? First of all, you need to cancel any bad dreams that you get, so that they don't come to pass in your waking life. Such as eating in dreams, intimate dreams, being naked in the dream, seeing yourself being chased in the dream, being in filthy places among other kinds of dreams. Okay. This is an example of how you cancel bad dreams. Oh God, I renounce, I nullify, I reject, and separate myself from the bad dream that I've had. I come against any agreement I've made in this dream in Jesus' name. All right, I see. I didn't know about all this Talia. Don't worry. I also went through such an experience. I will forward to you the prayer points which I used to finally liberate myself from such a spirit. Remember, you need to dedicate yourself in prayer and fasting as you take those prayer points. If these dreams persist, you might also need to go to your pastor for deliverance. Okay, understood.
Thank you so much, Talia. You're welcome. I've just received Talia's prayer points. I'll start my fast tomorrow. Oh God Jehovah, I come before you this night. I repent of any sins which I have committed, and I ask for your forgiveness. I thank you for the revelation I received about this spirit husband that has been tormenting me in my dreams. You spirit husband, that visits me in my dreams, I renounce any vows that I took with you knowingly and unknowingly, and I nullify every covenant that I have with you, in Jesus' name. I divorce myself from you spirit husband, and I command any marriage certificate, wedding ring, dowry or wedding gown which binds us together to burn to ashes by the fire of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus. I purge out any deposits that I bear from you spirit husband, by the blood of Jesus. I paralyze and nullify the power and legal rights that this spirit husband has over me in Jesus' name. I claim back all my stolen virtues, wealth, and relationships from this spirit husband in Jesus' name. I decree and declare that I am free in Jesus' name, Amen. You again. Are you not pleased to see me, my wife? No, I'm not your wife nor your dear. You have no authority over my life, and I command you to never appear to me again. This friend of yours fed you with a lot of nonsense, and you are just imagining things. Come here. No. I don't want this anymore. My life is always in a mess, whenever I see you. Have you just rejected me? You've made a mistake. Did you really think you were going to get that new job or promotion? Did you ever think that you'd get married? You are never going to succeed, as long as I'm here. You are a defeated being. And you have no authority over me. It's written in Colossians 2 14 to 15 that having cancelled the charge of our legal indebtedness, which stood against us and condemned us, he has taken it away, nailing it to the cross. And having disarmed the powers and authorities, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them by the cross. So get thee behind me Satan. And I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride.